This video will compare pictures I took in 1989 of parts of Leicester to 2024 to see how much things have changed in 35 years. I'll try and highlight some interesting features and provide a bit of context and history. Please stay to the end for all the detail. There's been a lot of change. I hope you enjoy. Please like and subscribe. Thank you for watching Eclectic Experience. Change seen through images. This is the third of three then and now videos I've made on Leicester. The links to the other two are at the end. The pictures I took in the 1980s are from all over the city, so I have tried to group them together. In this video, I will focus on near the railway station, then along some places along Welford Road, including the old cattle market. The first video was more of the central area, and the second was the area around De Montfort University. Looking at a map, for reference, this is where the railway station is. We'll first focus around the old Odeon, then look at the railway station itself, Freeman's Common, and a view of Clarendon Park from University Road. Then off to Welford Road, an old factory, the cattle market, and the prison. And then there was this picture, which really bugged me, though I think I know where it might have been. Let's start near the Old Odeon. Right next to the curve is the Athena events venue. But going back to 1989, it was the Odeon Cinema. And at the time it was showing Roadhouse and the Dead Poets Society. The Odeon closed in 1997 and moved to Freeman's Common. So it was a massive relief to see that this fantastic building is still in use and has been restored. Right next to where the Curve Theatre is now is this unusual Gothic building. It was originally a leather warehouse and looks like in 1989 it was still in full commercial use. By 2024 the building has been substantially renovated and is now of mixed use. Moving to around the railway station. The YMCA building was built between 1898 and 1901. In 2024, we can see the YMCO logo is in white. But if we go back to 1989, we can see the old logo that used to be red. The building itself is little changed, but the big difference from the photographs is the subway. Interestingly, it had recently been opened in 1989, but by 2024, the subway was long gone and filled in and replaced with traffic lights. If we turn around and look the other way, there's Leicester Railway Station, which is a Grade 2 listed building and looks pretty much the same. Interestingly, complete with two phone boxes, which are K6s and also Grade 2 listed now, and a post box, and these are all in the same place. Going up London Road from the station, we come to a really interesting Victorian building at 122 to 128 London Road. It was built in 1888 and it looks pretty much the same, though all the shops have changed now. Moving to University Road and looking out over Clarendon Park. This is the view in 1989, looking over the playing field. Then looking again in 2024, and there has been practically no change in Clarendon Park itself. Quite amazing considering the change elsewhere that's happened in the last 35 years. Moving on just a little bit to Welford Road and a different view. This is Freeman's Cottage on Freeman's Common. The building was constructed in 1856 but in 1989 when I took this photo it was the Leicester University Student Medical Centre. The building is unchanged, but look behind. Can you see some old style student accommodation here? Looking again in 2024, and these have all gone, replaced with substantial new university buildings. Even the brick wall up against Wilford Road has gone. A complete transformation. The next two photos are an outlier in the pictures that I took in 1989. They're of a building on Knighton Fields Road East, 
just off the Welford Road. In 1989 it was a substantial closed shoe and boot factory with an impressive clock tower. And this is it in 2024. From the outside it looks pretty much the same except that it's been cleaned up and it now appears to be a residential building. Looking down from Welford Road where Morrison's is today there used to be a cattle market. Leicester Cattle Market was in operation until 1988 and I took these pictures the following year in 1989 so it was shortly after it had closed. The site has since been completely cleared apart from one building which has a great clock tower. This was the Cattle Market Refreshment Rooms built around 1871 and is now the Counting House Pub. We can see the building here in 1989 and now in 2024 and now back for another couple of old photos now moving back towards the city centre this is Leicester Prison an impressive early to mid 19th century building seen here in 1989 and then again in 2024. There's not been a great deal of change to the prison but outside there are now some flagpoles and bus stops whereas before well there was practically nothing. With so much change I was actually surprised I managed to find just about every picture I'd taken or the location of where those buildings have been but I couldn't find this one. My best guess as it was in between the pictures I took of the Odeon and the leather warehouse that it was probably where the curve is now but if anyone knows please let me know. I hope you enjoyed this video thank you for watching please like and subscribe and click the alerts bell for future releases. The links to the other two then and now Leicester videos I've done are here this one for the central area and this one for around the De Montfort University. Thank you for watching Eclectic Experience, change seen through images.